if you're a Brexiter, I hope you won't vote for the Labour Party because the Labour Party is is moving increasingly against right. Brexit. Thirty to forty so percent of Labour that, Party voters support yeah, Brexit. Yeah, but well, by definition, therefore, the majority are against Brexit. One does the so maths you, so on you that. Ignore, you ignore so I all of those Brexit I voters in Northern Labour constituencies. No, don't ignore them at all. But but the, your your caller was saying which party should you vote for if you want to see Brexit happen. I'm confident that by the time we come to the Prime Minister's Treaty, which I think is is I mean what Liam has already he said it doesn't even constitute Brexit he said what the Prime Minister is seeking to negotiate is something around her Chequers deal which still has us in some kind of customs union and he's now saying that's not Brexit which sort of shows okay. the problem we've got so I wouldn't, I wouldn't vote Labour if you want to stop Brexit if you want to stop Brexit though so if you want Brexit, if you want to stop Brexit though I think you should vote okay. Labour. Former Labour MP Gisela Stewart. Well I'm just slightly puzzled Andrew, you, you are still a Labour Member of the House of Lords, mm. aren't you? I certainly am. And you take the Labour whip, but mm. you're telling people not to vote Labour. Now, if you want Brexit, I think you should vote for a party that's going to deliver Brexit. So, so the, we're not going to deliver so Brexit. The Labour so heart, so uh, the Labour heartlands in the North East and the North West, who voted in big numbers to leave, come the next local elections, which will be, you know, you say... As you are Brexiteers, don't vote Labour. Is that what you're I'm saying? I'm saying what you want is Brexit delivered. You should vote for the party that's going to deliver Brexit, which I'm afraid is the Conservatives. 